Welcome back to our one-on-ones today alongside Kevin Hartman, who was so fantastic in all of 2010. Uh, I'm Bobby Ryan. Thanks for joining us. And, and Kevin, I wanted to, before we go forward, uh, I wanted to take a look back. And uh, let's think back to January and February of 2010. Tell us what you were doing at that um, point in time. Well, I was, I was in uh, contract negotiations with Kansas City, and I was playing with the United States national team. So uh, I was getting some work in, um, and I, I was, uh, I think, negotiating in good faith with Kansas City at that point. <laughs> well, uh, well, when you look at that, did you ever envision 2010 playing out like it did for you specifically? You know, I, I honestly wanted to make sure that I was, I was coming to FC Dallas and I was trying to provide them with, with whatever it was that I could, you know, and I was going to work hard and develop relationships here. And it, it really, for me, uh, came off almost as well as it possibly could. You know, the championship game was a, a little bit of a letdown, but to be honest, I thought that we'd gotten a lot of really good bounces throughout 2010, and, and it was just unfortunate that maybe they didn't go our way in the final. When we look back on 2010, how much of that impact did the incident with, against the New York Red Bulls, the injury, how much of that played a role in the last third for you? I know you had to battle to get yourself back. How did, how did that play out in your mind? Well, I mean, I think it was probably disadvantageous from the perspective of I really felt that I was was having a goalkeeper of the year candidate uh, season, you know, or caliber season. And so uh, it was a little bit dis disappointing to miss those, that final group of games, which I really thought would, would maybe do, uh, I'd, I'd be able to do the amount that I needed to do to get those votes. And unfortunately, I, I thought that that injury really threw that off. And it, it was the impetus for me to work really, really hard to come back. Um, but the reality is, is I thought I was a pretty good form at that point, you know, and so uh, it, it set me back in, in regard to what I was able to do in, in terms of my kicking. Um, I certainly would never want to ask somebody to come back and hit my goal kicks, but uh, the fact that we had Danny Hernandez who can, who can knock yeah. pretty long uh, really made it a non-issue. You look back on your career, you're entering season number 15. Was last year your best? I was certainly one of my best years. Uh, I still, I thought the 2003 was one of my better years, and, and I think Pat beat me out for goalkeeper of the year that year. <laughs> I, I don't know. It, it's one of those things where a lot of times if you have the lowest goals against average, maybe you get it. Um, I, I, maybe I didn't play enough games last year to be able to, to, to warrant the honor, but uh, I certainly felt that it was one of my most enjoyable years, you know, and there's not very very many times in my career that I've been able to have a summer where I didn't really have to whine about a loss, I don't think, you know, so uh, we, we might have lost against Los Angeles during the summer, but beyond that, I mean, w when you're living and dying by what goes on on the weekend, we, we didn't really have a lot to complain about, you know, that 19-game streak really, really made for uh, a, a great summer and, and, a, and a wonderful season. You look back and... You come to Dallas, clearly it's a competition between you and Dario Sala for the number one place. You end up taking that over down in Houston. Dallas wins 1-0 there on the road and just went on an absolute run the rest of the season. Uh, Sala was your competition then. This year it's Chris Seitz. A little bit different dynamic, isn't it? You know, I, I mean, I, I think that I respect them very, very much as goalkeepers, you know. So um, I, I'm so internally motivated. Um, I really want to find success, and I know what my what my best is, and so I always want to just make sure that I'm there. And it's certainly, a great opportunity to work alongside a goalkeeper that I respect. Uh, very similar in regard to how I felt about Dario, um, and and now I'm perhaps mentoring Chris a little bit more, just because he's a younger goalkeeper, and and will provide input if he, if he uh, so desires. Um, me and Dario would kind of talk about stuff, but he he was set in his ways of how he did stuff, and. And uh, I can respect that because he certainly did it for a really long time at a top level. But I mean, it's, it's working with a younger goalkeeper versus working with a guy that we were similar in age. And uh, either, either way, I'm going to try to work as hard as I possibly can and push them. And hopefully, hopefully it's reciprocal. When you look at 2011 now, an incredibly successful season for a lot of individuals at FC Dallas. For the team, obviously, getting to MLS Cup, it was a first in the club history. What is it like now to have expectation for this team going into 2011? Well, I mean, I think it remains to be seen how we deal with that pressure. Um, however, I think that we got a glimpse of how we'll deal under pressure with, with the amount of adversity we were able to <laughs> overcome last year. Um, I think probably the 2010 FC Dallas team that I was a part of 
was able to come back from being at a deficit more often than any team that I've ever played for. Um, we, we really did have that never say die attitude and, uh, and the refuse to lose uh, slogan that we were branded with I, I thought was pretty appropriate. What was that defining moment uh, for the team last season that helped, helped you push the team over the edge when you needed it most? You know, I would be really hard pressed to give it a definitive, like, uh, you know, time point. You know, um, I, I would think that it's something that you develop over time. Um, I think there's probably that time where you make a mistake and somebody's there to kind of cover up for you, um, and and that happened on endless occasions. I know that uh, I had I had come for a cross in, in Columbus and Zach had cleared a ball <laughs> off the line, and I think it might have been up for save of the week, and then. There was another opportunity where I had taken a pretty good angle and the guy hit a good shot to the back post and I turn around and Eric Alexander's there heading a ball over the post, you know. Um, guys would just cover up for one another and I, I thought that when we were in Seattle and David scores a wonder goal, you know, and to, to tie it up and to, to allow us to get out of there with a point, it was just guys stepping up on, on numerous occasions and really saying, you know what, now it's my turn, I'll accept this role and I'll do what's necessary to get the result that we want. And, and guys just did it all year long. And, and so hopefully it's a part of who we are. It's a part of the culture. And, and it's hopefully a part of the character that can translate into 2011. We're exactly one month away from the start of the season. Uh, what's the next steps for this team now over the next four weeks to get you ready for day one? Well, we, we got a little bit of a later start than some of the other clubs. Uh, the weather we, weather gave us fits <laughs> the first week of training, but um, I think that we're committed to doing what's necessary in terms of getting ourselves ready physically. Um, we have to make sure that we get back on the same page and get everybody healthy. I think that we're a team that really looks at things on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, and uh, we know that we, we have training this evening and, and everybody needs to make sure that they're eating the right things and get prepared for that. and then. Uh, I think we're going to play SMU a little bit later in the week, and that's something that's going to be is going to be important for our development. Uh, we're heading down to Orlando, and we have some games against MLS teams, and and hopefully those are the things that are going to put us in a position to find success and to to have a run like we did last year. But uh, I've always felt like this is a group that kind of takes things one game at a time and doesn't really look past anyone. Um, so if if that's the case, then I would imagine the opener versus Chicago is right now the most important game for us. There you go. Well, you mentioned it earlier, talking about what you eat in between sessions. We're going to let you go now so you can get ready for the second one today. Again, Kevin Hartman, thanks so much for joining us and uh, appreciate Always your time. Always a pleasure. Always Thank a you. Pleasure. And we'll have more for one-on-one -on -one time with players, coaches, and everything here at FCDallas.com.